of them. But these guys can split their pants without sitting down. That's the, the trick. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan, higher or lower than eight? Well, I'm going to say it's lower because uh, not too many guys want to admit that, first of all. And bodybuilders wear a lot of stuff that stretches, you know. And, no, uh, I didn't know that. But they do. And uh, it's not going to split if it stretches, you know. So I'm going to say it's lower. Okay. Actual uh -huh. number of these bodybuilders who have split the seat of their pants is eight of them. There's your first $100, oh, my dear. Oh, this is great. Our audience will participate also in $100. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Eight of you guys have done that. Which two have not? You never split the... Never. Mr. America, Mr. Universe, never. you never have? <laughs> Thank you guys very much for being with us. Okay, let's begin. Game number two right now. And uh, game number two, we will begin uh, with a question that involves our ten bodybuilders who were selected before we went on the air. Gentlemen, if you would, please. <laughs> the guys have been with us all week. We've had some fun with them. And they're real good sports, and we're glad you're here, guys. Here we go, Tammy. This is your question. Before the show, we asked these ten bodybuilders, before you took up bodybuilding, were you scrawny? How many of these ten bodybuilders were scrawny before they took up bodybuilding? Oh, uh, oh, I bet they were born like that. They all look so big. I can't even imagine that any of them would be real tiny, something you'd call scrawny. They're all, they seem to be tall, you know, wide shoulders and everything. I know you get that from bodybuilding. I'd say maybe only, only two of them. Two of them were scrawny before they took up bodybuilding. Nolan, what do you think? None of them are going to admit that they've been scrawny. None of them are going to admit that they've been scrawny. Uh, but taking a look at them, say higher. Higher. Higher than the two. All right. The actual number of these bodybuilders who were scrawny is eight of them were. Whoa. How interesting. I I'm just curious. Which two were not scrawny? I mean, <laughs> you mean when you were born, you had a 17-inch neck. Is that what you're telling me, guys? <laughs> All right, fellas. Thank you very much. Here we go. Nolan. And the first question goes to Mary Margaret. It involves our 10 bodybuilders who have been with us all week long. So, gentlemen, if you would, please. Now, Mary Margaret, before the show, we ask these 10 bodybuilders, would you be more upset if you lost your muscles than your hair? <laughs> oh. Don't ask me that one, folks. <laughs> How many of these 10 bodybuilders would be more upset if they lost their muscles? Well, inevitably, half of those men out there are going to start to go bald, you know, based on statistics. And you can always buy a toupee, but you can never buy those muscles that those guys have, you know. So I think they'd be pretty upset. Yes. Well, how many of them said they'd be more upset if they lost their muscles? They would be more upset if they lost their muscles. I would say eight of them. Eight of them would be oh, more yeah. upset if they lost their muscles and losing their hair. Mario, what do you think about this? Higher or lower? Well... I think, I think they can lose the hair, but if they lose the muscles, they'll be upset. I agree with you, but I think it's going to be higher. It'll be higher than that. Yeah. The actual number of these bodybuilders who would be more upset if they lost their muscles is six of them. No, it wasn't higher, it was lower. Six. I'm curious, are there any bald-headed bodybuilders? What are you pointing to him for? He's... <laughs> <laughs> you want to take it off and show it to us? <laughs> Thank you, fellas, very much for playing. We appreciate it. All right, guys. <laughs> this one involves our ten bodybuilders, selected before we went on the air. So, gentlemen, again, if you would, please. Now, Mario, before the show, we ask these ten bodybuilders, did you start pumping iron to attract women? How many of these ten bodybuilders did start pumping iron to attract women? Well, I am not a bodybuilder, but I know. I, I, <laughs> but I'm not you, either. Mara. Did you notice? <laughs> but I think with all the hard work they put into the workouts, I, I don't think they would just do it to attract women. I think they do it because they're into the sport and they want to compete. I think it's uh, a high number. Uh, well, how many? No, how many? How many of these ten bodybuilders did start pumping iron to attract women? Okay, low number. How many? Uh, three. Three of them. Mary Margaret. Well, they may not have had that as their main motivation, okay? But it's one of the side benefits, you know? It can't hurt. So I'm going to say it's higher. Higher yeah. than that? Uh-huh. 
actual number of these bodybuilders who started pumping iron to attract women is three of them on the button. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank All right. you, Bob. Bodybuilders will also share $100. Yeah. All right, which three, guys? <laughs> Come on, raise your hands. There, there's two of them. Where's the other one? Come on. Now, three of you guys, one of them won't tell the truth. Yeah. Oh, I see. I want to know, does it work? Sure. It, it works? Yep. Good. I'll buy my set of... No, I won't buy any more weights. I'm already booked. All right. Mario, thank you guys again. We appreciate it. right now and our first game is going to involve our 10 bodybuilders so gentlemen if you would please all right now these are 10 bodybuilders from goals gym in venice and nice to have you back with us they've been with us all week nice to have you here guys and mary margaret here's the question we asked them before the show we asked these 10 bodybuilders when you're by yourself do you ever flex your muscles in front of the mirror Oh. Well, how many of these 10 bodybuilders said they do flex their muscles in front of the mirror? Oh, oh dear. I should probably duck on this answer, but uh, it, the common feeling among non-body people is that they do have a little bit of a vanity, you know, a little bit of an ego. And uh, they've got to practice for these contests they're in, too, you know. So I think it's going to be a pretty high number. I'll bet you nine of them do. You think nine of them? Mm-hmm. What do you think, Tori? Higher or lower than that? I used to um, work part-time at a gym where I did a little babysitting, and I'd see all the big guys going in there and working out and stuff, and they'd, you know, maybe just catch a little bit of a glimpse, but they were looking in the mirror. And they I'm were, gonna say, yeah. Every single one of those guys had gone up to the mirror and maybe flexed a little because, Hey, you let know. me tell you something. <laughs> Is it going to be higher or lower? I am it's higher. All higher than that. Everyone's done it. Even those of us without big bodies, every once in a while you go, I could be a body. Yeah, you one bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need help, guys, quick. <laughs> The actual number of these bodybuilders who flex their muscles in front of the mirror is nine of them. Yes. Oh, my. Mary. We get $100. We also have $100 to share with our bodybuilders. Now, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. One guy, one guy down there is a liar. <laughs> Who's the fellow that says he doesn't? You don't flex in front of the mirror? Come on, look at it. I see. You don't have to flex. You can see them all without the mirror. Thank you, fellas, very much. Okay. Oh, boy. oh, oh. What do you mean? Oh, what's oh? Mean? Very impressive. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, she said. This question goes to you, Ron. Okay. And this one involves once again our ten bodybuilders. So, gentlemen, if you will, please. Now, Ron, before the show, we ask these 10 bodybuilders, is your face a better feature than your body? How many of these 10 bodybuilders said their face is their better feature? Well, I don't want to offend any of those guys because they're all a lot bigger than me. But uh, <laughs> I think that... Uh, oh, they're getting rowdy. Yeah. I think that uh, <laughs> if you have pride in your body, you're obviously going to have to have some pride in your face, too. And uh, they probably think they're pretty good looking. You are. I'm not going to get you mad at me. So oh, quit I think bailing out, Ron. I think it's going to be high. I think uh, about eight. So you tell me eight go. out of ten bodybuilders said their face is their better feature. Uh-oh. Ooh, Tori, uh -oh. higher or lower than that? I'm going to have to say it's lower. You think these it's guys lower? guys have pride in their body, and they're proud of it, and they love it. Well, let's see. The actual number of these bodybuilders who said their face is their better feature is four of them. You're right. Yeah. Let me just say this. But these fellows have been with us all week, and we really appreciate you coming down here. You've done a wonderful job. And why don't you do, give me a pose, guys. Give me a pose. Come on. Give me a pose. Thank you, fellas, very much. Now, but the one thing I want to know, who thinks their, their face is their best feature? <laughs> The guy in the back with his arm in the air thinks his face is his best feature. <laughs> I see. Okay, fellas, thank you. <laughs>